I'm here today to go over today's assignment for science class. If you look on this first slide, this is going to be a knowledge check. You're going to complete a knowledge check on what you learned yesterday on the parts of the cell and cell theory. So if you click on this link, it will bring you right to the Google form and you can answer it. Put your name, date, and period. Okay, so what organelle controls the activities of the cell? Which of the following is only found in plant cells? And so on and so forth. There's 10 questions in total plus the short answer question that you will reply to. Okay, so you need a couple minutes to complete that um, just to kind of make sure everybody's on the same page with uh, what you remembered or what you recalled from the plant animal cell. On slide two, I'm going to read aloud this to you. This is a passage on the plant and animal cell. And then you are going to complete a diagram on an animal cell, the diagram on a plant cell, and then answer a couple questions. So let me read this uh, passage aloud to you. It says, cells are the building blocks of life. All living things are made of cells. Cells come in all shapes and sizes and are the smallest things in a living organism. Most cells are invisible without a microscope. Plant and animals are both made up of cells, even though their cells look and operate differently. Both plant animal cells are made up of organelles that perform various functions. These organelles are protected by a jelly-like substance called cytoplasm. The cytoplasm holds the organelles in place. The brain or the control center of the, both the plant and animal cell is the nucleus. The nucleus is the organelle that controls the activity of the cell. Cells get energy from organelles known as the mitochondria. Mitochondria are known as the powerhouse of the cell and act just like our digestive system does. They convert nutrients into usable energy for the cell. There are not only similarities between plant and animal cells. Both types of cells contain a vacuole, which is a large sac that holds food, water, and waste. The Golgi apparatus is another organelle found in both the plant and animal cell. This organelle is responsible for packaging and moving proteins out of the cell. The Golgi apparatus gets the protein to the endoplasmic reticulum. There are two types of endoplasmic reticulum in the cell smooth and rough. Each type of the endoplasmic reticulum has a different look and purpose. Where do the proteins come from? Organelles known as ribosomes on the endoplasmic reticulum build or, or synthesize the proteins for the cell. While the plant and animal cell are similar, there are important differences. Plant cells contain organelles known as chloroplasts that are not present in animal cells. Chloroplasts are organelles within a plant cell that use the sun through the process of photosynthesis to make food. Another difference is the outer covering of plant cells. Both plant and animal cells have cell membranes, which control the movement in and out of the cell. A plant cell, however, has extra protection in the form of a cell wall. The cell wall is the outermost layer of the plant cell. It has several important functions to help the plant cell. A cell wall protects the cell from damage, helps make the cell strong, and helps maintain the shape of the cell. So even though plant and animal cells have many organelles in common, the differences between the two cells have quite the impact on the makeup of the living organism. So with that being said, you're going to drag and drop these respective uh, word boxes to where they should be labeled. So if you look here, the cell membrane that's on the outside of the cell. So please drag and drop um, it right there. Okay. And so on and so forth. So you can look at them. Um, you can see your images from here. Um, if you looked at your notes yesterday on that back page, that was a diagram. So you can kind of infer based on what you know, um, from that diagram and use it um, for slide three and four. Slide five, these are three questions. Why are cells important? Compare and contrast plant and animal cells. And then why is the nucleus referred to as the brain of the cell? And then last but not least, how do the Golgi apparatus, endoplasmic reticulum, and ribosomes all work together? What is the function of the chloroplast? And last but not least, according to the text, what are the functions of the plant cells cell wall? So that's today's assignment. Um, if you have any questions, please feel free to reach out um, and we would happy, be happy to help.